Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. So if you guys have been around for a while, my buffet that we have in the living room has been my family for over 100 years at this point. It's very special to me. It was in my great-grandparents' house when my grandpa was growing up. It was in my grand the same house that my grandparents then took over that house. Um, when I was growing up, like when my mom was growing up, so my dining room table and my buffet go together as a set. It was my great-grandparents and then passed down to my grandparents and then my grandma gave them to me when we bought our first house. Many generations of people growing up around this furniture. Well, when my grandma gave it to me, she said, you can do whatever you want with it. And I got that these pieces in 2016 when we bought our first house. And so I refinished the buffet. It was all white. So I did chalk paint on it. And this is the original color on top. Uh, well, pretty close to the original color. It was a little more uh, like, not cherry, but it was a little more like reddish brown. Um, but I painted the whole thing with like this off-white chalk paint, like antique white chalk paint, kind of scuffed it up a bit. That was very much in style back then, like the farmhouse stuff. And then the top was actually white too. And then a couple years ago, I stripped the top of all the chalk paint and then I did this dark stain on it. It's very, very close to the original color. Um, I think, yeah, the inside isn't the original color. But um, the middle here is more like the original color. Anyway, so I stained the top of it and sealed that. I'm going to leave the top that color and we're going to paint the bottom green, like a dark green. So I have leftover cabinet paint from our RV makeover. Um, I think it, the color is Sharon Williams repost, or not repost gray. <laughs> uh, you guys know repost gray was the color on our walls. Um, Laurel Woods, I think is the name of the color. So I'm going to paint that. I just, I'm trying to bring some color into our house. Our house is, we're renting this house and all the walls are white. We're not allowed to paint. I know a lot of people are like, just paint and then paint it back white before you move out. But I don't. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just don't want to mess with painting. I don't know the color of the walls either. So if I like, maybe if I knew the color of the walls and I would be able to do that, but I don't know. It's a lot of work. I am planning on doing some wallpaper because I'm going to be working with wall blush again. I've worked with them a couple of times. We did wallpaper in our old house. Um, and we did wallpaper in our trailer for the kids bunks and stuff. I love the wall blush and they asked if I wanted to work with them again. So I might do this while we're talking about stuff right now to see like how much um, wallpaper I'm able to get and like what my ideas are and stuff. So I'm thinking of doing this wall right here. And then also this big wall here. Just bring some color in and like warm it up in here because everything is white, which is actually kind of fun because it's like just a blank slate and you know, like a blank canvas to work with as far as like, bringing in colors and textures in other ways without painting. So it's kind of been fun for me. You guys know I like like the dark walls and stuff like that. So um, anyways, figured I would bring some color in by painting that. This whole area over here is just very white. And I love that cabinet paint that we used in the trailer, that Laurel Woods. So I figure that's the perfect thing to do and kind of over the antique white especially with like a white wall so i thought that would be fun and then you guys know the dining table goes with i also refinished this whole thing i did the top a darker stain and sealed that in the bottom i refinished that in 2016 also with that antique white and like scuffed it up and then some of it is just wear and tear from over the years there's like paint on there from the kids and whatnot but um, you see the bottom is, I had like sanded it to look like rough and roughed up, like shabby chic kind of farmhouse stuff. Um, you want to go outside with your brother? <laughs> Casha's favorite spot. Weighing in the sun. So I don't know if I'm going to do anything with the bottom of the table. Not today. I don't think green would be good i've thought about doing like black on the legs um but yeah 
I'm gonna paint that. I think that's gonna be nice and like, you know, bring some warm color in here. And then also in this hallway over here, I do have plans for this. I'm thinking this is gonna be like really dark gray right here. So it'll be like this herringbone wallpaper that's really dark gray. And then this wall, um, I've talked about this for months now, but this is my vision right here. So some sort of long cabinet right here that has doors on it so I can store my grandma's china that we use for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, so some sort of storage cabinet here that's like, you know, buffet height. And I know I could put this in the hallway and then we could do like an entertainment center of some sort here, but I really like that as our TV stand. We hung the TV to be able to like use this. So that's staying there. But some sort of cabinet, I've been looking at like Facebook Marketplace. I don't really want to like buy something brand new and spend a bunch of money. So I've been looking at Marketplace for something here. And then I did order some prints, three big prints to put on the wall above whatever I find. Um, I did black and white prints from Smallwood Homes. So like this one, um, but the other direction and not that big. They're not gonna be as big as that one. But like one of me and Donnie, one of all three of the kids and then like a family photo also right here. And then, you know, like some little decor on top of that. Um, and that'll be it. So the stairs are right here. And then there's a plug-in like almost straight across. So what I'm thinking is like, you know, from the stairs, like have that centered right here with the prints above and then like decor. And then possibly hanging like wall sconces, like the lights that you can hang that are like the little remote on the sides. I saw on Pinterest, thought that was cute. And then have over here, like the entryway, have just like a big mirror or something right here, like a stand up big like floor mirror or something. So that's the plan for that wall, slowly but surely. And I just, I need to find like the right piece, but I want to thrift it. So um, I'm waiting on that, we will see, but. Anyways, I have a bunch of clean clothes I need to put away. I have paint, but I don't have paint brushes. I got rid of all my paint brushes because they were all like used and stuff um, when we sold our last house.
Okay, so I, it's been a little while. I still haven't left to go check on paint supplies, but I have to get some work done for Instagram content, like brand work stuff. So I got all of that done. I did a little bit more laundry, and then I realized I'm making a pot roast for dinner, and I haven't gotten it started, and it's 124. So we're gonna have to put that baby on high. Um, and I'm gonna just go with I could probably do it in like the instant pot, but I'm just gonna go ahead and plop her in the him <laughs> in the crock pot. Uh, so I have a uh tri tip roast. I think I can use this for a pot roast. It's from Better Beef Company in Oregon. Um, if you're in Oregon, they have locations you can go in there and shop in store in Albany and Salem, but I just get our meat delivered here from them. It's great. So let's get this started. So this is how I do my pot roast. Super simple and everybody loves it. I'm gonna throw this in there on the bottom. Wash my hands. All right, now before you tell me that I should add au jus or I should add this or add that, I'm just showing you guys how I make our pot roast. This is how we like it. So, ranch packet. And then I've got a bag of potatoes here. I'm gonna wash them, not all of them. This is a three pound bag. I'll probably put in like half of these. So I leave them whole and then once we're like eating, I'll cut them in half. Cause if you cut them before they get like mushy when you're cooking them. And then I have these carrots. I'm gonna wash these and cut them all up. Then I have this better than beef or better than bouillon beef base. So I'm gonna make some beef broth enough to like cover all of that. I almost forgot the onion. I'm gonna cut this up into chunks and throw that in there too. All right, I'm gonna turn this on high. For s I'm just gonna set it for six hours and we'll check it whenever we're like hungry for dinner, so. There we go. Okay, I went out to the garage and I found the paint. So, it is bare cabinet paint from Home Depot. We had it mixed in Sherwin-Williams Laurel Woods color. It's cabinet and trim enamel. So, that's what we have, but it's almost a full gallon. So, that'll be great. It is such a beautiful green color. You see how pretty it is? It's like the perfect moody green. I just like earthy. I love it. Alrighty, these are the paint brushes we got. I got a little roller. And then I got a trim brush. This works really good for like crevices and like cutting in and stuff like that. All paints, all paints. I just found this picture in the cabinet of the buffet. This is Donnie's dad. He was probably like in his 30s. Um, Donnie's grandpa, uncle, big old elk over in Eastern Oregon. And then I think a family friend and like a great grandpa also. Maybe, I think so. But yeah, that's Donnie's dad's dad. I need to hit, put this up over here on the shelf.
Alright, it is much, much later in the day, uh, 5.37 now, and I still haven't done any more work on the buffet. Um, got home from getting all of the kids from school, and then just had some stuff to do with them. Had to take the boys to basketball, and then we had to run to Berkeley School to pick up our Texas Roadhouse Rolls for Thanksgiving. They did a fundraiser, fundraiser through her school, um, so they're like, frozen and then you thaw them out and they rise and you thaw out the honey butter um, for Thanksgiving. So we went and picked those up. We just got home. Donnie is picking the boys up from basketball on his way home from work. Dinner smells divine. Pot roast is like one of my favorite things to eat. I love it so much. Um, also, this was gonna be like our very first year ever doing the holidays with no family because obviously we moved to another state. Um, however, my mom gets to come for Thanksgiving, so the kids are super excited about that. And then um, Donnie's mom is coming like early December to visit. Donnie's dad is coming like middle of December to visit. I think we're going back to Oregon during Christmas break at some point. Um, I think my dad's coming like beginning of the year. So it's exciting. I'm excited to have everybody come visit us and see our new town and, you know, just see our family. But we're excited that my mom gets to come spend Thanksgiving with us. So she's coming into town on Wednesday. I'm going to pick her up from the airport and she's staying for a few days. So that'll be fun. But anyways, I'll update on that because the next video you guys see will probably be decorating for Christmas, which will be the day after Thanksgiving and mom will be here so she's gonna help us decorate um and that's like a tradition that i've kept alive from my childhood is when like when i was growing up we would always get out all the christmas decorations the day after thanksgiving the tree goes up all of it so yeah anyways is this even focused so that'll be cool to have my mom here for decorating and for thanksgiving and all that so we're still gonna do like the full thanksgiving feast and everything even though it's just gonna be the six of us it's gonna be great so I'm gonna get back to work on this. I at least wanna get the first coat done tonight and then I'll probably finish, finish it tomorrow. So let's get back to work. I think I'm on season 13 episode one or two, I don't know. It's like where Mary is asking the family for money to buy the Airbnb and they're like, no, sorry, we don't have it. And then her friend comes to visit, the one who also got catfished. Christina's my favorite, if you're wondering. Okay. Back to work, back to work. Let's get this first coat done. It curves really rapidly in like a short amount of time. So right now it's at about 42 degrees. If it gets to 50 degrees, then I'll have to get some Whole Hold hands and spin together. You've never done I love the boots, Hayden. That's a cute idea, Hayden. Counts her up your legs a little bit. Your dad will be happy. <laughs> Now. 
Get out of there. <laughs> Can't help it. You know. Okay, so Donnie just got home. The boys are home from basketball, and I just shredded up the meat and dumped it back. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, it's hot. No. It the great. juice. Oh, mm -hmm. you're like over there slurping. Well, oh, I just fogged up the slurp. camera. Look. Okay, we're clear. Um, so I just shredded up that tri-tip roast and Donnie had to give it a taste test and so did I. It's so good. So now I'm going to let that soak in the juice and I'm just going to stick the lid back on. I just have it on warm and we're going to make some of these for Donnie and the kids. Oh, you can do these in the air fryer. What? Air fryer ready. How do you do it in the air fryer? Five minutes. Turn them over. Four minutes. I'm just gonna do it in the oven. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't wanna mess them up. Okay. I will see you guys tomorrow and we will finish up painting the buffet. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. Look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade if you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Want to see you smile? Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine, but... All right. It is dry, and I'm gonna get the hardware put back on now. I can tell that you have something on your mind right now, but I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on. She is done. So that is Sherwin Williams Laurel Woods. I think it looks so good. Added some color in here. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing something to that wall, doing curtains, so it's gonna be so cozy when it's all done. But I'm so happy that I got to add some color in this room, just kind of warm it up a little bit. So that's just the beginning of adding some color to this house. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you again very soon in my next one. Bye.